Hello everyone, Fabio here. Today we're gonna to do something very, very different. Um, let me explain to you guys. I have this website here, this personal website. It is one page website that I use sometimes if I need to send like my resume to someone. And it's pretty much standard in you know, a one page website, scrolling features, um, and it's in English. I wanted to challenge myself and see if I can add multi-language support to this website and how long would it take for me to do it, All right? Let's start and let me spin up my React application, npm start, just to spin up that application that it's running. All right, it's saying that I already have one application running a certain port if I want to continue or if I want to try another port. And I said, yes. So I'm going to run here on 3001, port 3001. All right, well, here we have what I know, projects, GitHub, about me, timeline. So the goal for this video here is to get at least this to support multi-language. So if I select English, it's going to show it in English. Hi, I'm Fabio Almeida. If it shows, if I select Portuguese, it's going to say, Olá, meu nome é Fábio, ou eu sou Fábio. And if we have a little bit more time, we'll go um, a little further. But basically, that's what we're going to do. So this is source code. I have a couple of files here. You know, don't mind the, the structure of my files. I'm very, I'm a stickler for keeping things separate and organized. So this was created with the basic Create React app, NPX Create React app, space TypeScript, because this is in TypeScript. And I have here all my pages. So everything, as you guys know, I'm not going to go into details about the React portion here because that's not the goal. The goal is to show how to put multi-language into this. But if you go here, you know, uh, that's the index that's serving uh, my files. And here I have my app. And my app is where I'm using to add like the navigation. That's where I'm going to have all the links and you know it's going to take care of the routing as well to begin with we need to install npm i react dash i 18 next maybe the name of the library how i want to how do i want to put in uh, support for other languages here all right so it's installing the the library all right here we go it's saying there's two vulner vulnerabilities but the package was already installed all right, here we can see the package JSON. It should be there. Yep, it's right there. All right, let's start with creating the configuration file. So the first thing that we need to do is in the source folder here, we're gonna create a new file. It's gonna be called, uh, if I remember, um, i18n.js. I think that's the name of the file. Import i18n from i18 next, right? So that's what we're importing here. Well, I could type all of this, but you know what? I have the file over here. I'm just gonna copy everything from this file, from this configuration file. I'm gonna paste it over here. I got it from the web. Uh, the only issue that I was having was I had like another name here and there was a, a conflict. I was having an error. I had to import this package instead. So make sure that over here, if you're following like any tutorial online other than this one, then you have to get this package here. I'm importing some translation files here. It's going to be looking for a file in a folder called, called lo locals forward slash en forward slash translation en. And then I'm going to have another one that's going to be called another folder. It's going to be locals pt for Portuguese translation pt. All right. With that, here, down here, we have to put the resources. So for English, for EN, we have, this is the translation file that I want to use. For PT, for Portuguese, this is the translation file that I want to use. And then some some uh, default settings here. Um, I'm setting my default language as English. Um, I can, later on, I'm going to change to Portuguese to show it to you guys. But that's pretty much it. So I'm going to save this file. I'm going to come to my index file here, and I'm going to import that file, because I want to load that file as soon as the page loads. So import and drip, uh, what is the name of that? Uh, I18n, right there, right. Okay, so I am importing that file. So let's see the damage that it's doing. See, we already have the damage here. It's saying that it's looking for 
those translation files and they're nowhere to be found. So we're gonna go over there, we're gonna create them. In source, we're gonna create the folder. I don't know how do you, how do you call this, locales or locals. I, I say locals, but it's probably locales, I don't know. If I'm saying it wrong, just let me know. Um, all right, and inside of here, we are gonna have a folder for English and we're gonna have a file that's called translationen.json because I like JSON. This JSON here, I'm gonna type it. So this JSON here is gonna have a key of greeting because I'm gonna change that top that says, hi, I am. So it's the greeting and I'm gonna, this is the English file. So I'm gonna type hi, I'm, and then my name, right? I don't have to type my name here because my name is gonna be pretty standard throughout the entire thing. So I'm gonna save that JSON. I'm gonna do the same thing for the Portuguese one though. So I'm gonna create another folder here, PT, and then new file, translation pt.json, spelled wrong. All right, again, I'm gonna write greeting because the same keys that I have in in one file, I have to have in the other one, otherwise it's not gonna translate. And when it doesn't find the key, so for example, if I put greeting, and you'll understand later, but if I put greeting and then it doesn't find, then it's just the word greeting is gonna show there. It's gonna look weird. All right, so I'm gonna write what I wanted to write in Portuguese. So, olá, eu sou, oh, because Portuguese is a little bit more verbose than English. All right, so I have the, those two files, they're in place, let's see here. Oh, the page right loaded because it found everything it was supposed to, but this is, is still not feeding from that file. This is actually hard-coded, so we have to go into that and take care of that. All right, that is in home. And in home, it's the first thing, so it's the introduction, it's this introduction here. So it's coming, introduction is coming from components, which is right here, component forward slash introduction. So component, introduction, all right. All right, in here with the introduction, I have to import the use translation. It's a hook in React, right? Import um, use translation from and we're going to import from React I18. Next. Good. Now I have to come over here before the return and inside of the function. And I have to instantiate the hook. So I'm going to write here const. And I'm going to get T and I18N, because the configuration file equals use translation and that's it all right let's see if i broke anything i'm gonna come back here nope everything's still working now i'm gonna go inside of where it says hi i am or hi i'm and i am going to change the language well not change the language but i'm gonna put t t is like the translation function so t and i'm going to call that key that i added there the greeting key so greeting Right. All right. Let's see if I broke anything. All right. Let's go up here. Hi, I am. So I changed this and it shows hi, I am. So let's see if it's actually picking up what it's supposed to be picking up. If I go over here and I change the default language to PT, Portuguese, it should show the Portuguese version. All right. Let's see. Olá, eu sou o Fábio. So it is working. Now, all I have to do is create different keys for different portions of the website and then put the translation. So let's do this portion over here, a full stack, full stack software developer. I don't even know what I am. A full stack software developer. All right. Let's go back to my locals or locales or however you want to call it. I am not, English is not my first language as you can see. So, or as you can hear it. All right, um, job underscore description, description. All right, oh my goodness, can type 
a, how do I type it? I want to type it exactly the same way because I don't want to screw up my site either. A full stack software developer. A full stack software developer. All right, a full stack software developer. All right, and I want to show you guys something very interesting. Remember I said in the beginning that um, if I put the key in, if I forget to put the key, then it would show just the name of the key. So the key here, let me copy this job description. I'm going to go over here to introduction where we'll do it here. And then later on, I can go in and refactor if I have to, if I want to keep it consistent with everything else. So T and oh, that'll be quotes and the key, right? Job description. Let's see if I broke anything. All right, you see, I don't have the key. So it's saying job description, like I expect it to be because we are in the Portuguese version of the website and I only added the job description in the English version. But if I go over here in the I, um, ATN and I change this to English and I go back to the website, to the page, then that's there. I'm gonna go over here, I'm gonna change to Portuguese again and I'm gonna go in the Portuguese one. I don't even know how to say all of that in Portuguese. Let me try here, um, what is it called? Job description, job description, um, de desen desenvolvedor pleno de software, de aplicativos. Then, then I come here and if I put in Portuguese, it says Desenvolvedor Pleno de Aplicativos. All right, so here it's in Portuguese, Um Desenvolvedor Pleno de Aplicativos. Good, all right. So now, how do I, how do I, I don't wanna have to be coming to this configuration file every time and changing the language in order to get different languages, right? So I want maybe put a button there that's going to allow me to click to toggle the languages. Let me just take this out because that's why it's scrolling. Um, let me go just to the like, page. Okay, I just, I need to be able to toggle the languages by clicking a button. So I want to add over here, up here, I want to add two buttons for Portuguese and for English. We'll, we'll do like plain text for now. And then later on, I'll come back and I'll put in like a little bit of flags and all that fun stuff. Let's find my, my header, right? My, my navigation bar. We saw that a few moments ago, I think it was in app.js. Over here. All right. I mean, you know, the back button, where's the back button? Oh, the back button is not there. It only shows back button only shows if okay if i'm on, a, on the projects page all right so i'm gonna put it over here let's say if i put a div here no now i'm improvising and i put like pt for portuguese so i'm gonna put another div here and i put like uh, pt for portuguese i'll put two buttons and then later on i'll change it uh, button good pt for portuguese and then the same thing, I'm gonna copy here, and then English here, EN for English. All right, so I have these two buttons up here, English and Portuguese. If I click the Portuguese button, I want to change the language to Portuguese. If I click the English button, I want to change the language to English. So I am going to create a change language function here Cons change language equals a land for language. All right, I'm going to return a function. I'm currying this function. Return because when I click over there, that function, I want to make sure I'm going to call with that language, right? So I want to pass that parameter. All right, so I'm returning that function and let's see, I'm going to do a console.log because I want to check it first. And here I'm going to put, I'm going to put the object, a literal language changed 
to and Ellen. All right, so let's see how that works. When I am over here, where are my buttons? Over here, and I do an on click. On click, good. Equals change language. And here I'm gonna change to Portuguese. No, English, bien. And then the same thing, I'm gonna copy and paste over here just to save time. Over here, PT for Portuguese. Okay, so when I click on this, let me open up the console here. When I click on this, open up on the other screen, don't worry. Fret not, my friend. I'll put it, I'll leave it on the other screen and I'll pull it over. So when I click on this, is it sharing? Yes, it's sharing. And I click on this, it should say language change to English, language change to Portuguese. So it did. Look, as you can see over here, lang language change to English, language change to Portuguese. Great. All right, so it's calling the functions properly. Um, if you don't understand why I I had to return a function, then I suggest you read a little bit about functional programming, where you can return functions, pass functions, and function occurring and all that. All right, going forward. All right, so to change languages, to actually change the language, we need to remember that file that I imported here that i18n and i didn't use it anywhere no well, not there i'm sorry that's the file itself but in the index i imported it i18n but i don't think i even used it anywhere well you know what i'm going to import in the app.js so i'm going to take it away from here and i'm going to import in the app.js because i'm going to use it there so i'm going to import it right here it's just that it the way create react app works it creates like an index and then an app and then one imports the other so as you can see here let's see in the index see how it's important the app so pretty much when i put in the app it's still gonna load that file so my page should not have broken okay and the reason i'm doing this is because i have to actually use something from there from that file in order to change the language so i 18n from so i'm going to import that it's not i n it's i 18 n fabio so i'm going to take that and i'm importing that from that so make sure nothing broke nothing broke okay and then when i click change language here i'm going to do i 18 n dot change language and then i am going to change the language guess to what to the language that i chose all right with that being said, when I click the button, it should change the language. It's English, it's Portuguese. It's English, it's Portuguese. It's English, it's Portuguese. See, it's changed right here. Right here in the middle. It's English, it's Portuguese. It's English, it's Portuguese. So, it was pretty simple. I don't know how long this video took, but I had fun doing it. I'm going to go ahead and change the top to two little flags to look good. I'm also going to go ahead and kind of like refactor my code a little bit so it doesn't look that bad. All right, talk to you guys later, bye.